I was afraid the government would respond to the financial crisis by doing more of the same policies that caused it, which is more deficit spending, more cheap money, more central banking and central planning. And as a result, I think the U.S. economy is now poised for a much bigger collapse. I think that what's coming is a sovereign debt crisis and a currency crisis uh, that will make the financial crisis of 08 you know, look like you know, the proverbial Sunday school picnic. Is it something that's affecting the economy right now? Oh, absolutely. The fiscal cliff specifically is one of the major ways in which the slow recovery that we have could be completely derailed. You know, hard landing in China, uh, euro collapsing, problems in the Middle East, and fiscal cliff is probably paramount in, those, in that area. As a matter of policy, as and, opposed to an apocalyptic. But, way and the to most get important there. price is interest rates, which right. have to go exactly. up. That is but the no price. one wants to let them go up because the banks will fail. We have currently have no price integrity in any asset and, in America. And we're on the precipice of collapse. That's right. Where we are. So this, this system is in collapse and it's it's unbelievable. And most people don't even see what's going on. If you watch CNBC, if you actually pay attention to the US media. Uh, they will always tell you there's uh, green shoots or it's, uh, it's going to be a recovery. Mm -hmm. There's no chance of that. You don't think there are any signs of that? There's no, it's not possible. We're in the last days of this financial system in the U.S. This is Zimbabwe. When this, when it starts to collapse, it's going to happen very fast. If people don't start to wake up to what's going on, they're going to get hurt in this collapse. Uh, but this is where it's going, uh, that we have to now just get as far away from the U.S. and from the Western world. Uh, because this collapse is going to be messy. We've got to ask ourselves, why are the feds preparing for a war against Americans? Why have they bought now more than two billion bullets, 